Good day folks, welcome back to our channel, Well Fingers World. I hope that I can help you resolve your computer problem today. Just a quick recap, last week I've shared my DIY project which involves replacing the old battery and adding a second drive to the 13 inch MacBook Pro Me 2012. I know it's an old machine but hey it's one of the best machines mankind ever created and Apple made this thing possible. Anyway, I tried to make sure that everything goes right. However, I missed something in the software side of that project. At first it says it can't be recognized. So I checked the disk utility and it is there. However, it's not highlighted, which tells me why it can't be recognized. It's not mounted and when we tried to click the mount button, there's an additional error that says could not mount this 0s3. Well, I've tried to use the first aid to solve this issue, however, it didn't work. So, I've checked about this Mac and click storage again and double check just to make sure that it is not a hardware issue. Well, look, it's there. The list of drives says that it is there but there are no details showing up meaning it is not accessible and the last resort is fixing it via terminal take note i want to emphasize this one that this solution will delete all your files inside your drive so backing up your files is highly required once we get access to the terminal, we then type the command line that list drives for confirmation. And you type disk util list. This command will tell you what are the drives in your system. As you can see that this second drive that we installed has a different file system compared to the current one that we originally have. Let me share with you that this drive has been used in Windows PC so we get a need to make the file system similar to the current one we have. Take note of the disk lo location. In my case it is located at forward slash dev forward slash disk zero. After that, we type the disk util erase disk apfs pny mac slash dev slash disk zero in the command line. And as soon as we hit enter, then the magic happens. It will take care of everything. It will format the disk and set the drive to apfs type then set the drive name to PNY Mac and mount the disk. Once the process is done, uh, we can double check it and type the disk util list again. If you do so, then it will tell you that the drive is already in APFS type and it is available. Um, if you're still not convinced, uh, you can go to Disk Utility and confirm its availability. And if you do so, you'll see the name of the drive that you set for your new drive. And in my case, it is PNY Mac and it is available and highlighted there. And you, you can see that it is in Apple file system type already. Uh, there you go folks, the could not mount disk 0s3 error has been resolved. And once again, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.